I'm, I, I'm very scared of the saw lady, I'll tell you that. Um, good late afternoon, I'm Joshua Dechter, and I'll be your moderator for section three, Built from the Ground Up. I first want to thank my longtime friends at Creative Time for their sustained commitment to organizing these summits, and I'm really honored to be moderating a panel with such accomplished individuals as Chido Govera, who's an extremely inspirational person, Kenneth Bailey and Judith Lehman, Alfredo Brillenborg, and Christoph Schaefer. Um, I'm in an extremely inspired state of mind right now, um, and I just want to say in terms of continuing a thread, the last moderator did that extremely well, that I think perhaps one of the issues that I think about consistently as somebody who grew up in Manhattan in the Upper West Side, in what was then a very diverse area, um, by the time my parents died, uh, I could no longer afford the rent, of course, in the place that they had, because it was converted into market level. I think two issues are um, important to think about. Empathy, but also fear of empathy. Um, and as the previous moderator indicated, what are we willing to do for greater equity or a greater egalitarian situation in the city um, is a pressing matter. I can't say what I'm willing to give up, um, those issues become much more, have much more gravity, I think, when one has a child, for example, in this city, uh, when it's very difficult to survive. Um, but I think these are key issues. Fear, the fear of being empathetic, and the question of what we're willing to give up. And I'm not sure what I'm willing to give up, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, here, as we endeavor to repurpose this location into a discursive space to rethink contemporary urbanity, in relation to various forms of cultural production, activism, politics, new economics, and other forms, our intellectual and biopolitical capital is being rapidly output in a, in a matter of minutes, perhaps akin to the way in which certain urban places, such as New York, are rapidly repurposed into landscapes of speculative capital. Privatization and neoliberalism are not new phenomena, yet it seems that with the withering of the middle classes in the United States, we, are, we may be one misstep away from becoming displaced citizens, in, in, internal economic refugees, that is, accumulation in the hands of a few and disaccumulation affecting the many. One can observe these tendencies in other countries, not only here. The subject of this panel is based upon the premise that urban development occurs not only as a top-down process, but, uh, but also as a result of bottom-up or grassroots initiatives. And quoting here, features alternative forms of economy and social action that come out of local planning and movements, end quote. It seems that one of the most urgent questions to ask of our panelists today and of the audience assembled here and globally is in what ways do such, quote, alternative forms effectively and pragmatically challenge, to invoke Manuel Castell's book, The City and the Grassroots, dominant formations of power in today's developing and developed cities. Even though we recognize that glaring economic and income gaps exist, do terms such as top-down and bottom-up uh, potentially end up re reproducing the hierarchies of, or divisions of class, opportunity, education, work, and lifestyle that we are seeking to erode. And while taking into, the, into account the resonance of the Occupy movements, might we propose that some of the most effective struggling and work can be accomplished in that vast territory in between, in the middle, and even as we've seen through various demonstrations today, in partnerships between public, private, and other sectors. And finally, how might new forms of social activism, economic activism, and social and cultural entrepreneurship help to restore a more egalitarian ethos, that is, forming broad-based coalitions for social, economic, and educational justice with the citizens of cities, and in such a way that politically progressive, quote, creative entrepreneurs are not inadvertently repurposed into self-interested members of a, quote, creative class destined to play their role in the engineering of luxury cultural tourism nodes within the post-cosmopolitan metropolis. Thank you. I'm going to introduce now, I'm actually in before five, my five minutes, which was the plan, um, Kenneth Bailey and uh, Judith Lehman. Thank you very much. <laughs> 